Number 50. One winter day, the climate control system of a large university classroom building malfunctions. What else is new? As a result, 50 cubic meters of excess cold air is brought in each minute. At what rate in kilowatts must heat transfer occur to warm this air by 10 degrees Celsius? That is to bring it to room temperature. All right, so a couple of things we need to know. We're talking about heating air, basically, right? So we need to know the specific heat of air that's just looked up in the table. Um, and if we're trying to find the amount of heat necessary to change the temperature of air by 10 degrees Celsius, you know we're going to be using this formula over here, right? This basically says that the heat uh, gained or lost by an object, basically the change in heat, is going to be equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the specific heat multiplied by the change in temperature of that particular object. So the problem is, though, in order to find the energy necessary, we need to find the mass, right? That's the thing we don't know. Well, they told us the volume. Oh, so lovely, dandy. We have to do a conversion, right? We need to know density of the air, and then we can easily solve that for mass here. Mass is equal to the density multiplied by the volume. So the mass, the density they told us was 500 cubic meters, 500 cubic meters, and the the of, uh, excuse me, <laughs> the density of air is a constant that's going to be 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. And the volume they told us was 500 cubic meters. So notice the cubic meters would cancel. And this would leave me with 1.29 times 500. So we'll just calculate that, get that out of the way. So this is basically 645 gr uh, kilograms of air. Okay, so that's the mass of the air. Oops. All right, so now I can find the Q, right? Now I can find the change in heat energy or the heat energy necessary to warm it up. So this is 645 kilograms multiplied by the specific heat of air, which is 721, multiplied by that change in temperature of 10 degrees. And it's positive since we're gonna warm it up, I guess, right? So this is 645 times 721 times 10, and that becomes now 4.65 times 10 raised to the, it looks like three, six, right? And that's in terms of joules. Now, okay, now let's think about what we just found. Okay, let's think about the what's going on in the problem. So they tell us that this volume of air, which correlates to 645 kilograms of air, so basically 645 kilograms of cold air, is coming into the room or being brought into the classroom, whatever, into the building every single minute. Okay. So basically, this is the amount of heat energy necessary to raise this uh, mass of air. But this mass of air is coming in every minute, right? So basically, this is the energy necessary per minute, right? Because it correlates with this amount of mass. And this amount of mass is entering the building every single minute. So hopefully that makes sense. So basically, I can simply say that this is... So, so this value of of joule is basically like a rate, okay? So we have 4.65 times 10 to the six joules per minute, right? This is the amount of heat energy necessary per minute to be supplied to warm up that air. Now all they want us to know, to find, that is, is the rate in kilowatts. So kilowatts is what? It's basically kilojoules per second. That's all it is, right? This is a kilowatt. Okay, so guess what I got to do, ladies and gentlemen, convert joules per minute into kilojoules per second, and that is it. So let's do that. Let's do the joules first, so joule on the bottom, kilojoule on the top, a thousand joules for every one kilojoule, voila, that's great. And then minutes on the top, seconds on the bottom, 60 seconds in one minute, and look at this. So easy, right? Nice and simple, so we like this. So this is going to be then, okay, that answer divided by 1,000 multiplied by 60, and what do we get? 77.5. So there's going to be 77.5 kilowatts. And I don't know why I wrote kilojoules there. Not really sure. But that's kilowatts. All right. And that would be the rate uh, that of energy that's necessary to warm up that air um, that's coming into the room. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.